Hey everybody, it's Steph Mischuk with KillerPHP.com. In this video blog, I'm going to talk about PHP frameworks. I was recently asked about web frameworks, what they were, and why you might want to use them. First of all, a web framework, you can think of things like CodeIgniter, Laravel, Zen Framework, S uh, Symfony, and there are others. And these frameworks are basically just collections of PHP code. They're libraries that are structured in a particular format. So with the aim of making it really easy for you to develop web apps, web applications. This format I'm talking about is just like the directory structure and how, uh, in a logical way, how the application is uh, structured. And the convention these days is the MVC framework. It's the model view controller pattern. And this is basically a way of interact, of organizing the way the web application, in this case the PHP application, uh, works. And it's how you separate your code into uh, three logical sets. You have the code for your views, the, p the pages that people actually see, and uh, that's the uh, the V and model view controller and MVC. The model is basically the code that uh, has all your business logic, your database logic. It's all in files there. And then you have the other side. You, in between the two, you got the view here and you got the model here. In between the two, is you got the broker, brokering code. The code is called the controllers, and they control the interaction between all your business objects, the database stuff and what's displayed on the pages in the view. That's the controller. So model view controller is very common. It's used in all kinds of languages these days, Ruby, uh, Java, PHP, and others. And it's uh, very effective in uh, creating a very easy to manage web application. Uh, so when you have a web framework like Zend or CodeIgniter, uh, and so on. They are all structured, or well, many of them are structured using this MVC style. So what that means is that when you use one of these um, frameworks, and if you're familiar with MVC because it's a very common pattern, uh, it should be easier for you to learn and work with the framework. Or if you have somebody else uh, who comes to your project, and let's say you have a project that's based on the Zen framework, for instance. So you say, okay, you hire a new guy, and he knows the Zen framework. He'll be able to launch into the application and very quickly understand what's going on and get up to speed very, very quickly because he, he will be familiar with the Zen framework and that MVC pattern. So even if you have somebody who goes from one MVC framework, like the Zen framework, and moves to uh, Laravel or to CodeIgniter, though they're different frameworks, because they're all MVC based, it's going to be a lot easier for them to learn one from the other. So what's the uh, number one reason? Well, the top three reasons I have for learning, well, I believe rather, for learning an MVC framework is number one, in the end, although there will be a learning curve in the beginning, but once you understand it, it will make writing web applications much, 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 much easier. Why? Because these all these uh, frameworks, besides having a consistent structure, you also have a code libraries and procedures that go with it. So you don't have to work on authentic authentication objects, and in many cases database objects, and objects that present the information on the views, on the pages. All this is done for all the validation objects. This is all done so you don't have to rewrite it. And the great thing about these code libraries is oftentimes they're very well vetted. They've been written and refined, and so you're probably going to get pretty much bug-free or near bug-free code, at least in theory. Uh, nothing's perfect, of course, but you, you are going to have that huge advantage. So instead of having to write all this boilerplate, this framework code, it's all presented, it's all there for you in the framework. So the other big advantage 
uh, to using a framework. You know, well, w w with these code libraries, rather, you're going to, in the end, save a lot of time, right? Because you won't have to write things. And finally, another big advantage, in fact, is that you will learn different styles, different techniques of coding, and you will improve uh, your programming skills as you jump into one of these frameworks. And in fact, I'm an advocate of, you know, you pick a framework that you like and stick, it, and stick to it, but it makes sense once in a while to look at other competing frameworks because you, you'll see that there's different ways of approaching a situation and each, you know, each framework will have their own way of doing things and you'll soon discover what's better, what's, you know, what's not so good depending on your particular style of programming perhaps. So for instance, if you're, let's say you had been an expert in the Zen framework, it might be a good idea to look at Laravel and it's another PHP framework and to check that out. And I think that when you compare and contrast between the frameworks, how they approach everything, it will just make you a better programmer in the end.